Can we all just stop for a second and realize we're standing right upon the biggest EPU war in a very long time where two of the biggest EPU makers for gamers both getting ready to duke it out. I cannot tell you how excited I am to find out what this fall has in store for us. I'm obviously going to cover all the excitement we're talking about and in case you don't want to miss any juicy ampere or order need to details, make sure to stay subscribed and hit the notification bell to never miss an episode. Anyway, the first ever leaked benchmarks of the upcoming ampere flag flagship has been spotted by our beloved Copite 7 Kimi. Now this is the leaker that accurately predicted the specs for the A100 GPU, but he was also correctly uh, predicting the irregular board design. He's also been sharing tons of other RTX 3000 series details and so far guys, everything that's been coming from this guy has been making ton of sense. Alright, so with that said, let's take a look at the results. The set card is scoring close to 10,000 points in 3 mark times by X Stream. And guys, this is putting the upcoming flagship in a class of its own. Now, in comparison, 10k points means the upcoming RTX 3090 would be approximately 50% faster, stand against Nvidia's current TPD top flagship, the 2080 Ti, who typically tends to end up in the 6100 to 6500 point range. Keep in mind, guys, the card being tested is an engineering sample and a pre production, and these cards are usually clocked lower, and proper drivers also also tend to impact the final performance. And taking all these things into consideration, the final RTX 3090 card selling off the shelf should have no problem whatsoever going even higher than this. That being said, it is still a bit too early to tell how Ampere will respond to overclocking, but assuming Nvidia doesn't go, you know, for very aggressive stock core clock for these cards, we should expect these cards to perform fantastic in games, point blank. And overclocking should obviously give us even and more performance. Now, while it isn't clear what type of cooling the said card is using, it is believed that the engineering sample is equipped with a triple fan cooler and so simply put, nothing special by any means. And if this leak wasn't enough, it turns out we even got the first ever performance figures for the RTX 3080 as well. And this time, yes, this leak also comes from Copite 7 Kimi where the RTX 3080 scored almost 8600 points in the same time spy extreme test run and this puts the 3080 32-35% above the 2080 Ti which should be said is the fastest consumer based EPU available. This is huge guys. Now let's take a fast peek at the latest most accurate leaked specs for the entire Nvidia RTX 3000 series and as we can see both the Ampere Titan as well as the 3080, oh, sorry 3090 and the 3080 are all supposedly based off of the GA102 G. GPU. Now what's interesting is the fact that all cards down to the 3070 Ti all seems to possibly getting GDDR6X memory. Another interesting detail is the fact that Nvidia seemed to introduce ray tracing uh, to the upper entry class in form of the RTX 3050. But as I'm making this video as you can see guys there's still a lot of question marks in terms of specifications but I'll make sure to update you guys as soon as we get to learn more. Plenty of rumors are pointing to the fact that most of the GeForce Ampere based GPUs are being manufactured on Samsung's 8 nanometer process, while AMD on the other hand is making the entire RX 6000 series, which includes Big Navi on TSMC 7 nanometer. This means that RDNA 2 might be a tad bit more energy efficient. If you're interested, you can learn a whole lot more about AMD's GPU plans in a video I made just a few days ago, linked up down below. As I'm recording this, we still aren't 100% sure whether Nvidia plans on selling RTX 3080 Ti alongside RTX 3090 or if the 3090 is simply put just replacing the Ti. Honestly, I think the 3090 is a direct answer to Big Navi which is said to be a monster featuring 5120 steam processors. Anyway, time will eventually tell who's the standing winner when the dust has settled. And speaking of release, it does seem like Nvidia will be about a month ahead of AMD where the latest rumors points to Nvidia showing off the 3080 and the 3090 at Gamescom by the end of August, while AMD on the other hand is still waiting for Big Navi to finish, and we do think that they will be ready to show RDNA 2 sometimes in October or early November, followed by a release a few weeks later. Now who's gonna be the standing winner between Nvidia or AMD? Can AMD do anything about the 3090? Which card are you the most excited about? In the meantime, you can find a whole lot more details about the upcoming 
GPUs from both teams down below.